Keep an earthquake preparedness kit under your bed. Extra shoes, a pry bar, dust masks, tools you might need, light sticks, headlamps, extra batteries, and gloves. There will be a lot of glass after an earthquake and you don't want to be unprepared. Rechargeable batteries lose their charge over time. I like to keep mine in a near constant state of charge. Have your fire extinguishers properly serviced annually. Know where your fuse box is located. Know where your water shutoff valve is and that every member of the house knows. Know where your water inlet for your hot water tank valve is and how to shut it off. In case your city's water is contaminated, you don't want to contaminate your water tank. Also know where your gas line shuts off at. In an earthquake, the shaking of a home or apartment can cause damage to gas piping and appliances. This damage can result in the release of natural gas that can lead to fires and even explosions. At a minimum, know how to turn off the natural gas supply at your home. Make sure that you have an appropriate wrench easily accessible. You may also want to join a neighborhood preparedness group or make arrangements with your neighbors so that they can turn the gas off if you are not home and if they smell gas. One of the most common ways of protecting your home from gas leaks is by installing some sort of shutoff valve. These include earthquake actuated valves, excess flow valves, methane detectors, hybrid systems and manual shutoff valves. Each may have its advantages and disadvantages. Be prepared.